We've been using the Tombstone Glitch to duplicate legendary items, create essence, and all these different things on the new Season 1 Reloaded for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And during my lives, I often get questions how to set up a tombstone, how to do the basics, how do I fill my other operators with backpacks, etc. And I've realized it's about time that I make a very simple solo guide to tombstones in Season 1 Reloaded. So this will have all the new changes, what works, what doesn't work, but also how to go from scratch like this, no backpacks, no operators, all the way to this. And I also threw in a little bonus at the end, and that is how to carry a tombstone through the dark ether on Season 1 Reloaded. It's the only method I know that works right now. So when you first go in, I recommend grabbing the weapon that you need, decoy grenade, throwing knife, energy mines. Kind of your basic setup for setting up tombstones solo. Then, if you already have been duplicating Flawless Ethereums, Legendary Ethers, etc., just bring those in, it makes it a lot easier. There's only a couple things you need to set up to get really fast Tombstone duplication of all your Legendary items, and to get all of your operators set up with that large rucksack, which helps immensely in the process. That is, you have to buy two large rucksacks. Now, the reason why you have to buy two is if you get 10,000 to go buy one in tier three, it automatically equips, which you'll then lose when you use your tombstone. So you have to buy one, then buy a second one, which that large rucksack will go into your inventory, where now you can duplicate the rucksack itself every single time you come in the match. If you get lucky and find one up at the buildings near Pop-Off Power or when you're doing contracts, make sure that you don't equip it, but you actually just put it into your rucksack. Even if you have a small rucksack, you can skip this whole process by just putting one into your rucksack, then move on to grabbing that tombstone for duplication and moving on. But if you don't get lucky, like I often don't, just get 22,000 essence. That's 20,000 for two large rucksacks in tier three buy stations, and then 2,000 for the tombstone. With the tombstones, you can either buy them in tier one all around the edges, it moves where it is, but you can look for the tombstone icon and buy it there. Or just go through Derwander Fizz out in tier three, which is always in the same spot. And once you get used to it, it's really, really easy to go in and out. Just bring at least one decoy grenade. You won't have any issues, even if you don't have a gun. This is for you who are running solo. Either don't want help from other people or your friends because you want to learn how to do yourself by yourself. Maybe your friends don't do the tombstone glitch at all. They just don't want any part of that. You can also ask in match chat right when you start, type it out. Hey, does anyone have any essence that they can share with me? If someone's willing to drop that 22,000 essence or more, you can bypass this whole first part and jump right to the point where I'm making that tombstone and all the instructions that go with that with the new Season 1 Reloaded update. Now, really from this place, when you first start, you got two options to get money to get a large backpack. Your first option is just to grind some contracts. They're really easy if you do the escort cargo contracts. Like this, oh, that's yeah, 3,000, so if I do three, four of those, you're good in tier two, or even tier one. Or if you already have the upgraded guns, like I do, you already got a pack, level one pack-a-punch or gold ether, you can just run bounties, and they are incredibly fast when you're overpowered. The other thing you can do is just simply to ask for money. Look for the nearest gas station, it's right here. Even if you don't have a weapon, or you don't have a powerful weapon, you can just train the zombies like this. Or if you have a decoy grenade, throw a decoy grenade. It's really not hard. Let them run after it. And there you go. There you go. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get a backpack. Not today. Go. Self revival, take it. Another one. We'll put that on just for now. Go for some streamer luck right here. That was already a third contract. Hey, look at that. Juggernog. People search all the time for that. Um, we might as well take it, right? You can just keep running those. You can see we're at 9,000 right now, but I'm going to go do a bounty contract. If you have your le weapons leveled up a little bit, bounty contracts are so flipping easy to run and so fast. If you're like Pack-A-Punch 3 in a Tier 2 or Pack-A-Punch 1 or 2 in Tier 1, you can just absolutely fly through these, especially if you have a Corsair, or uh, especially if you have a Scorcher. 
got a little mangler here, but you can watch. Because I'm a gold ether and pack a punch three, it's going to be a short fight. There you go. I'm just setting up for the next round. All I want to do is get a large bag in my actual backpack. But again, the goal is to buy a tombstone to be able to die with it. And then we want to buy a backpack, but we need tombstones all we need. And then we're going to come back to the buy station. Uh, we'll do this one. This one's pretty easy. I know that one. Always keep an eye out for any other ether tears if you need it. Again, all we're buying is tombstone. If not, you can just find it around the map on tier one if you're scared to go into tier three. But also, I mean, if you're scared to go into tier three, get over it. Even if it means you just run in with no equipment and start running around tier three getting used to it. Gotta do it, gotta do it, do it, do it. There you go. We'll drop this gun because we don't we want to be able to run fast. Now we have decoys, so that's what we're gonna do. Just chuck a decoy out, but chuck it far away. Now you've bought your first rucksack, but that automatically goes on your character. You unfortunately can't put it in your inventory. So now you gotta get another ten thousand essence to buy that second large rucksack. So easy. Easy peasy. A level one pack a bunch. Why not? All right. So you can see now we have 10,000. So we can go buy ourselves a backpack. I'm over. There you go. Throw one more decoy. Now we're going to buy the backpack. This time it will stay right here. That's where you actually want it. If you find a backpack, you don't have to go through all this. You can just put it, just equip it like that. So this is the spot that I most like to set up my tombstone. It's actually on the island just south of tier three here in F6. So a couple important things. I do not have the um, self revive and I do have the large rucksack. Those are the two, oh, those are the two things you really want. Dang, those guys got arms. If you have a self revive on the new season one reloaded, your tombstone will not set. Also, if you have a teammate, your tombstone will not set. So you have to be solo. And if you're playing with teams, go, you know, hold this and leave leave squad. But we're going to let these guys kill us. Hey, doofuses. There we go. There it is. So we got rid of our self-revive. We drank our tombstone. Now we're going to let ourselves bleed out. I don't rush it. Sometimes it doesn't work when I rush it. So we're going to let ourselves bleed out. And then let the timer all count down all the way through until it says leave match. Don't plead for help. Just let the screen click down. The whole concept here is that when they've patched it, they've tried to make it so that if there is a way out, the tombstone won't set up. If there's a way for players to revive you, if you have a self-revive, if you have a teammate that's still in the match, etc., then your tombstone will cancel and not work. But now, I don't have teammates, I don't have self-revives, I didn't plead for help, I'm eliminated, now the tombstone's gonna work like it should. But remember, this hasn't duplicated anything here. So we let this go out all the way until it says leave match. Leave match. Now you can see my strike team is back to nothing, but now we wanna go back in to grab that backpack. And I'm gonna take all three of my operators in to get that backpack. All right, now this is my first operator. All I'm going to do is run in, grab the backpack out of that tombstone, whatever items I want to keep, and then leave through the portal. That's it. I'm going to do that with all my operators. So now they all have backpacks. So remember, you won't have a backpack right now. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab it, grab your backpack, pick up all the stuff. There you go. You've got all the things. You really don't need all this stuff, but you got it if you want it. I'll just drop this guy off because I don't need it. This is not going to transfer. The rest of the stuff is fine. We can take that back. Gas mask I can put on. Sentry turret I can put on. There you go. So you should be able to get in and out every single round in two to three minutes max. Now my operator has a backpack, gas mask, and a sentry gun. 
And then you're gonna dashboard right here. This is actually where the tombstone this is where the tombstone glitch actually happens. So I quit right here. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation, you'll quit the app as soon as you see the portal hit because it takes a little bit more time. But on PC, you quit right when it goes to the black loading screen. Okay, so now we have an operator with a large backpack and we have a tombstone with another large backpack. This is where I wanna be able to set up the rest of my team with large backpacks, turrets, etc. if we want. But we also wanna actually start the tombstone glitch here by duplicating the items that we want. So in this case, I'm gonna take a VR11. I'm gonna take, um, I think I'm bringing a scorcher in. Do I have a scorcher in here? Being a VR11, we're gonna bring a scorcher. Of course, flawless ethereum crystal. We already got a gold ether tool. Let's go dog bone. Golden armor. Ether blade case, of course. We have room for one more item because we're gonna use one for the large backpack. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring a tombstone soda in because while I'm duplicating these other items for myself, again, we're doing this all solo. So in this case, we're actually gonna bring in two tombstone sodas. We're gonna drink one and then hold on to the other one. So then we're gonna have all these items to duplicate, the large backpack and a tombstone soda that will now also duplicate. So you can easily bring in two tombstone sodas anytime you want. So let's go back into the match. We have two tombstones now, so we're gonna drink one. And then we're going to save the other one. So these are all the items we're actually going to duplicate. But in order to get the tombstone glitch to work, if you already have one set up, you have to first tear it down. Okay, so we are now back to our tombstone. And so these are all the items I'm actually going to duplicate. So in order to do that first, we have to drop all of these items. Then we need to completely empty out your tombstone. You don't got to keep anything in there, but what we do want to keep is this, the large rucksack. That's the big thing. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff back. You now have a full rucksack. We still have the tombstone, so now that's gonna duplicate. And we have the large rucksack, so that will start duplicating. So now, when I die, I'm gonna bring my other operators in to get their large rucksack, and at the same time to duplicate all these items, including tombstones, which makes it so much faster to set up tombstones next time. Now keep in mind, I'm showing you how to reset your own tombstone solo, how to get everything solo without anybody else's help. The easiest way to get money to buy all these things or to get money to have in your tombstone is just simply to ask in the match chat, does anybody have money they can drop? More often than not, you'll get one or two people that'll say, hey, meet me over by the island. I got 100,000 to drop for you. Then you can die with that tombstone with 100,000 and just go buy whatever you want from the buy station. But this is the complete solo guide, no external help, how to do it, which is nice to know, because if you know how to do it this way, then you can get friends and do everything faster. Use my other tombstone guide for that if you're with a team. Bleed out like normal, do not plea for help, and do not leave early. Again, so we already have our tombstone, but now all those legendary items and the tombstone can and the large rucksack are gonna be in our tombstone next round so I can take in all my operators and fill them up. And then the last thing that I wanna show you is how to actually keep a tombstone when you go into the dark ether. It's a little bit of a workaround, but it's the best we have right now, but make sure you stay tuned to that. That's gonna be towards the end. So now our operators have nothing. I wanna at least get them large backpacks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring in each operator one at a time duplicate all those items, including the tombstone that are in there and give them the backpack. And so now we're duplicating items and equipping all of our operators with large rucksacks. So now we're back, put on the rucksack, pull out everything else to take, gotta break it. And now you can see all these items are now being duplicated, completely solo, no worries. And I just got the large rucksack. So when I get out, I can stash all these in my stash and I get a large rucksack for every single one of my operators. So now you can just put all those items back in your stash. You're now duplicating tombstone sodas to make the tombstone duplication even easier. You can see we have 151 things in our stash and we can put them straight in now. If you wanna know how to do that, 
purchased and rewards and swapping them has been patched, but there's a new easier way. I'm not going to explain it all here. Just check out my video. I go into great detail exactly how to do it. Use that. It'll help you a lot. Put your knife back on. You got your guns. Now you're going to change over from the dude with the large backpack to the next dude. So while you are duplicating items, you are also getting a large rucksack on all your operators. Very simple. Now you can see we've got all our operators now have large backpacks. And you can also see we have a ton of goodies now. And you want to be able to do it by yourself without anyone else's help. This is the way to do it. Now for the dark ether, it gets a little complicated and it's still not a great system yet. Myself, my community, join our Discord if you, if you haven't already. We have like 5,500 people in there. All of them are trying different things to see how to keep your tombstone while going in the dark ether. Nobody's figured it out yet in Season 1 Reloaded. But if my community doesn't figure it out, someone else in the zombies community, another creator is going to figure it out and we'll spread the word once we get it. But this is the best method I have right now to keep a tombstone while going into the dark ether for Season 1 Reloaded. Alright, so now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and drink our tombstone soda. Which is going to give us the perk, as you can see down here, we now have tombstone. We're then going to drop our elder sigil, we're going to take everything... Oh, I just picked it up. Drop our elder sigil. Oh, that's not my tombstone. <laughs> it's almost like other people are doing this glitch. Drop that. I'm going to pick up everything from here, including the backpack. And then we got to bring that. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll swap it out for like the VR11 for now. Move that over that way. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Well, anyways, whatever. So now we're going to go into the Elder Sigil with the tombstone. Vote yourself in. It's now anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. I've never seen that glitch. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> glitch lobby time. All right, so now that you're in here, you can do whatever the heck you want now. It really doesn't matter. So even if you get schematics, all those kind of things inside the Dark Aether, the important thing is actually that you do not exfil normally. You actually let yourself die, which then will reset your tombstone. Now keep in mind you'll lose whatever insured weapon you have, you'll lose your backpack, etc. If whatever you have equipped on your character, but it really doesn't matter that much. You'll still have that large rucksack to use. And so normally, if I was in this scenario, I would be using my dog, I'd be using a, a few of these things, and then go collect a bunch of other good items in this, and then you can come back. Oh, there you go. See, so now I've died. I can just let myself give up. Normally you go run the contracts, go search, maybe grab some of the keys, get some wonder weapons, and then die before you leave to reset that tombstone. That's it. So that is the trick to still keeping a tombstone and keeping most of your items in game. The other thing you can do is when you come back in, I could already have brought another flawless crystal, another dog bone, and a gold ether tool, and I could have just equipped all those before I even got to my tombstone. Therefore, I'm already ready to go in the dark ether and just carry all those items in my tombstone and whatever essence I have into the dark ether with me. So I'm not even using any of the items in there. All right, now you're gonna notice when you die in the dark ether, your tombstone's always gonna move to the graveyard. This was like a really, really, really early place that people would actually put their tombstones. Um, but very quickly, we all moved them to the island just because the convenience of it all. Come up to your tombstone. And it's right here. All of the same items are still in it, as you can see. Now we are one item short. Oh, no, we aren't. Good, we got everything filled up there. See, still got your large rucksack. Now the big thing about this is it would save all your essence. So let's say you already had 200,000 essence, you wanna run the dark ether. You get all that, you still keep all the items in there, but now you can move on to the next spot, which is very convenient. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Again, the whole purpose of this is so that you solo can now set up your own tombstone glitch, duplicate your own items, Gather your own essence, do anything that you want without needing someone else's help. 
Now, if you have someone else's help, you got that friend that has tons of essence and tons of items, absolutely, go talk to them, get that help. But if you don't, you're now good to go. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content and news, I will see you live on YouTube.